Alright, I have an iPhone 6S Plus here that is drawing 0 amps on the ammeter. Uh, I suspect TriStar, but uh, before I replace TriStar, I just want to do a little, some testing just so that I have a better understanding of uh, you know some of the symptoms to look for before replacing TriStar. I mean, I think uh, replacing TriStar is still probably the easiest thing to do, especially if the, um, the phone powers on with a, with a known good battery. And uh, for this phone, I... When I plugged it in, it actually recognized the the charging cable and it turned it on, but it didn't pull any amps, you know. So I'm just curious as to what you know, like what. I know the TriStar is damaged probably, but what is it that doesn't work about it, you know? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plug this thing in again, and I don't see any. I see zero amps in the ammeter. I'm gonna turn my multimeter to zero. Uh, to uh, voltage mode, and then I'm going to do some testing here. Okay, so I'm going to test. Uh, I believe this is VCC main here. That's 3.7 volts. I'm getting 5 point volts on the USB line here. This is the input voltage from the USB cable, and then this is VBAT right here. VBAT is 3.7, so v VCC main and VBAT are both 3.7. Okay, now I'm I'm, I'm going to test them. Um, I'm gonna get a little needle here so I don't short anything out, but uh, I'm gonna test the gate. Okay, the gate on the the FET, and I'll show you all this stuff in a little bit here. But uh, so last time I had a bad uh, zero. Okay, so this is the exact same problem that I just had actually, and I'm getting zero. I'm getting zero um, volts on the gate. Okay, and when I say the gate. Here's what I'm talking about, all right? So you have this is Tigris right here. So the input voltage uh, from the charge cable comes into Tigris. All right, that's the chip that handles the incoming power and handles the distribution, the charging uh, from the battery. Or sorry, it handles handles the transition of the the battery to VCC main, which VCC main is the main power uh, power line that runs the entire phone. Okay, so VCC main is either going to be your incoming USB voltage of roughly 5 volts converted down to about 4.25 volts, or it's going to be your battery voltage, um, which is generally between 3.6 volts and about 4 volts. Okay, so if the cable is plugged in, then it's gonna it's gonna um, run off of the USB cable of about 4.2 volts, so VCC main should be right around 4.2 volts, and um, and then uh, you know if the battery needs charging, then um, then uh, this chip right here, Tigris, is gonna send send um, s uh, send a voltage to this MOSFET right here. Uh, to this one pin, okay, it's, it's gonna say, hey, okay, let's let's start charging this battery, all right, because this MOSFET right here uh, has nine pins, three of them are the battery, and then five of them are VCC main, okay, so basically you got battery, you got VCC main, and you have this gate that that acts as a switch, okay, so when the battery is not charged, this uh, injected voltage from Tigris. Um, allows the battery to uh, to be charged via VCC main. All right, Does that makes sense. Um, so what I just measured was I measured this point right here, which is VCC main. I measured this point right here, which is the battery voltage. Okay, um, and then I also measured this gate voltage. This gate voltage is zero. It should be it should be right around uh, whatever the the VCC main and the battery voltages are. So when it says zero, that means it's not gonna, it's basically not gonna charge. So which is why I'm getting zero amps on the on the ammeter here. Okay, and if we look at the schematics here, let's see if we can find it first. There it is right here. Okay, so this is Tigris. Okay, and this is what I was just talking about right here. Q2300. All right, that's the silver shiny uh, nine-pin BGA chip. And uh, 
and this basically kind of controls the flow of um, of current uh, from either VCC main to V battery or V battery to VCC main. All right. Um, so at this point, all right, basically VCC main is going to be it's, the the phone is being powered by the battery basically because this voltage right here which controls the flow is zero alright so why is it zero well from my experience uh, it's because the TriStar chip is bad that's why the gate voltage is zero so we're gonna go ahead and replace the we're gonna go ahead and replace the um, TriStar and that should should fix the problem alright So last time, I, I just did one of these yesterday, and it cost, cost me a few hours of my life because um, cause I nicked this stupid chip right here, this uh, audio IC chip. It's a glass It's a glass chip. I guess it's glass. Yeah, I think the top's glass, considered glass. Like I was saying, I nicked this glass chip, and uh, just caused, this is the small audio chip. That's what it's called, right? So this is TriStar here, and we're going to go ahead and replace it. Looks like this is nicked a little bit too, but hopefully that's not cracked. Nicked is one thing, a top nicked is one thing, but cracked, uh, it's going to cause some problems. I'm at 375 degrees Celsius with air flow of 15. Oh my quick, uh, 861 DW. Alright. Let's see if we can see any damage to this chip right here. I mean, looking at the pads, I don't see anything, you know? So. I think maybe the, the chip is physically damaged, probably. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this chip. I mean, it doesn't look like anything's wrong with this chip. You know, it looks like a brand new chip, doesn't it? So, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this away. And then, I'm going to use my, my new chip. Okay. So, the new version of the chips are 610 a three B. So I guess it's like a sixteen ten A three but version B. So it's like the same chip but a little bit newer. Alright. So let's clean this mother. A little flux on it. Got too much shit on my desk here.
Whoa, did I miss a pad there? Man, I hope that's a ground pad. I don't know what happened to that. One, two, three. Ground. Oh, dang it. That sucks. How did I lose that pad, man? Okay. All right. Well, we got a bunch of jumpers. Good news is that the jumper shouldn't be too hard. I really want to use. I really want to use a uh, lead-free solder, actually. All right, so. Alright. Shite. I want to make sure I get it, man. I don't. I'm not trying to do this again. There, there you go. That is solid. All right, I think that's good. It's a nice, solid, big joint there. So let's break this off. All right. Okay, so let's uh, put the new chip on now. Make sure there's no crap around here. All right, looks good. Good. Uh, let's just make sure we have the orientation right. So as you can see, it says 610A3B. Which it is backwards compatible. So, alright.
All right, let's see if this puppy works. Should work. All right, let's plug this mother in, and I'm getting 1.36 amps on the ammeter, and it is charging now. So I'm gonna say this is a success. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I test this before I close it up this time, because yesterday I closed it up and found out that I something wasn't working. So, so there you go. Uh, it's charging now. You see the charging cable up here. Um, that's it.